Hello, everybody! Hey. And I have no idea what this series is going to be named yet. But, uh, we're gonna play some strategy games. He's gonna teach me how to, you know, play them and stuff. Um, Start the timer, and we're okay. off. 20 minutes to learn civilization. Play um, and, well, per first you want to set up. Civilization is a 4X game. Now, what this means is essentially, wow, 20 minutes is gonna be way too little time. Anyway, um, pick a leader. 4X is explore, exploit, expand... Can't remember the last X. Anyway, you can pick your civilization, and I would change the continents. And, yeah, just go. Oh, I would change difficulty level as well. We're just going for a quick game. And, yeah. We are now going... He is going to be playing as the Roman Empire. Because the blessings of the gods to. be upon you, Caesar and, Augustus, Emperor yeah. of Rome, oh, and all the holding. Your empire was the greatest and longest lived of what? all in Western civilization, and your yeah. people single-handedly uh, have shaped its culture, law, art, and warfare like none oh, other um, before or since. In the last video, I dyed my hair dark brown and got my nose pierced. My ears are also stretched a little bit bigger. Also, he, he um had his birthday. Yeah. And, okay. Um, so just to start, sorry. To where should I go? First, that is an awesome starting position. Press that to settle your city. And you now have the city of Rome. Oh. Now, you don't have to rush, but you want to explore in a direction. I'm gonna go so, hills way. give you more sight, but you can only move a certain distance. I'm gonna go this way because okay. trees. Then, then press the move button, and then t move within that blue range. Preferably onto that hill, because that gives you more sight. Then, you choose production by clicking the hammer, and then you pick a m monument. Yeah, go with a monument. Uh, and then choose research. Research. Once again, by just pressing on that. And then go into open technology tree. And I want you to scroll down. Okay. Just, that's all the shit in this game. Okay. Um, so, so I yeah, start what with you. One of these. Yes, and since you're on learning, I would recommend rushing writing. And you can click onwards to okay. continue moving through. Okay, so go to okay. writing. And yep, yeah, it's going to writing, and now you have to close at the bottom. Okay. And then just hit next turn. And turn scrolls over, and the other players move through their turn. And then you have to now can you move your guy again, and just wherever. I'm gonna take off the handlebars. There's plenty of tooltips, so, so uh, you need anything to explain. Move. There's the coast. Or it could be a lake. It okay, seems like it's. Now that I'm there. You can just get the press next turn again. Okay. Um, we're already four minutes in, but I, I kind of get the game. Yeah, well, we may have to do multiple episodes of a series yeah, if the game's way too We could do two long. episodes, three, 20 minutes each. And just go ahead and move around and continue. Um, just keep moving. Um, just keep moving. I'll go. And then, at the end of this, I might pop into one of my games and show how badly it can go on higher difficulties. Oh, and that is the borderline of a city-state. So you want to hit next turn, and then move towards the borderlines after. So move up there, I want to go up there and hit. Attack them? Uh, no. You don't want to instantly attack everything. That leads to your downfall. But uh, actually, Rome. I... Rome instantly attacks everything. Eh. So, but I don't... You don't have the soldiers to it. Should I go up? You should go to there. Because that lets you see the city, and that is Bucharest. And that also reveals ruins. They give you 30 gold, and they're cultural, uh, cultured, which means they give you culture. Okay, so close. And close, and they're friendly, so that... As for, like, linking of cities and stuff, but that's not important. Anyway, next turn you want to go to those ruins, because ruins give you bonuses. Okay. And yeah, you won't get into the meat of this game. Next time I'll actually have, like, a setup scenario for you to run. You say next episode we can probably have more stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, that and also for the next game we do, I can actually set up a game for you beforehand okay. and just let you play. Can the clay the say to him the that fashion of it? Pottery. Oh, what makes us that? Yeah, it's no problem. Wait, I can use that, right? Um, only if it's within city limits, but that is another good city location. Anyway, you can adopt a policy. 
Okay. And that opens you up to this tree. You can adopt from one of those four trees from now. Liberty. Um, and um, you can just read about them. Um, um, exploration, aesthetics. Exploration, I'm gonna go... You have to go within these four first. These four? I'll yeah. go honor. Um, honor gives you better military and fighting bar barbarians. Which is a very good opener if you're just trying on killing everything. Yep, and, and, and then close. At the bottom. And um, then move over the river. And notice how moving over the river takes up both of your movement points. Okay, and now and then next turn. There are abilities in certain units that avoid that. Okay. Like boats? Yeah. Well, boats can't go. Choose boats. production? Yes. Choose production in a row. And I... Warriors. No, you do not want to immediately rush a warrior. Why, you want to go. Shit, useless warriors. I can kill people. No, but without happiness and other and faith and stuff, you don't have the forces to kill people. Okay, so. Because cities are really, really hard to siege until later. Food plus two. Uh, that means you grow faster. Do you want to grow faster, or do you want to have a religion? Grow faster. I think. Mm. Also, because this game's non-discriminate, every religion can have the same bonuses. Ooh. Now, how do I set up a city over here? Um, you need a settler. Settler? Uh, but, oh yeah, I should have directed you down the liberty tree. Anyway, finish your uh, food thing, and then go for settler. I did, I did it. Yeah, you clicked on it, and then continue moving along your word. Okay, just keep moving. Mm. Silver. Yep. See, and then, I oh, and you can like scroll like over like with WASD or drag. You should be like mining and stuff. Well, you need a worker. People do that automatically. And click on him again, and you still have one more movement. Uh, I don't know where I want to go, um... You can also right-click to move, I forgot to tell you. That's a mountain, it's impassable terrain, but you want to get over to the ancient roads. <laughs> That's good water. Something to do. Well... Nothing yet. That's the thing. That's why I should have pushed you in, in further along. This is just a standard opening thing. And actually, next episode I will actually put uh, thrust you into a series. So yeah, this is pretty much just a test thing. We should probably end up with that. That's a barbarian encampment. So I can go kill them. Uh, yes. But first, grab that. It might give you better units. What? Next turn. So yeah, this is a test episode see what you guys think about it, and next time it will be more structured. And then next turn, that gave you, ugh, oh, sorry about my burps, gave you culture, which means you get to adopt another policy. Um, you can choose between the two available. Either one strengthens military units when you have multiple, or the other, I believe, gives you more production towards military units and gives you a great general. Close, and then you probably want to start heading towards that barbarian cabinet. Okay. But I can't fight them because I don't have warriors. Pardon? I don't have any warriors to fight them. You have him. And uh, they're not cities, they're encampments. Also, you don't want to move directly on top, move to the hill instead. It just move to the hill, yeah. And you'll both be there in three turns. Next turn. Pantheon, which is first stage of religion. Someone's got one. Next turn. Then that is your first enemy. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Yep, I'm an idiot. Adopt the policy. Yeah, the great generals are killed instantly. Since this is a task one, it makes no difference. That gives you more experience in battle. And that one only affects if you have multiple military units. Good news is you've gotten him out of his camp, so if you can get there fast enough, you can intercept him. So, like, move to there. Okay. Click on your warrior. And then move. And then move to there. Why don't I just jump on him and start attacking? Because you want to take out his encampment first. Because otherwise it'll spawn more. Next turn. Okay. 
Now you just gotta hope to gosh that doesn't spawn another one. I believe there's a turn interval, but I can't remember it. So. He who destroyed. And then move into that. Because you ran out of movement points. Okay, you can choose another research. Choose whatever you want. Research. And since you're going on her, open up the grand scheme thing. And because you have a lot of silver. I would go down to, um, bronze working, which will give you the statue of Zeus, which is an honor specific thing. You keep on going to the X at the top of the screen. Anyway, you have one more movement at the point. I would move on to the hill, so that next turn you can beat his ass to death. Anyway, next turn. And Rome has grown again, and you can see, and I'm just dragging you over here, that its borders have, have expanded now to encompass all the things. That's automatically done. So now I can attack him? Yes. Go ahead and attack him. Minor victory. Yep, that was a minor victory. He did significantly less. Oh, do I have to keep attacking him? Uh, yeah. He doesn't die instantly. Unfortunately. <sighs> anyway, continue attacking him. He moved off the hill, which is a stupid move on hit. his party gets more defense on the hill. Also, because of your honor thing, you've got more bonus due to when fighting barbarians. And then next turn, one more time, and then I gotta show you one new thing. And then we're probably gonna run... Anyway, you can promote. I'm um, gonna attack him last time. Yeah, but no, promoting will give you... Will give you, um... It will give you more attack value, and you can't gain more experience while you need to be promoted. Oh. Anyway, click, uh, don't heal instantly, that's a horrible thing. It's either you, unless you're really low on health, okay. you can either gain fighting in open terrain or fighting in rough terrain. He's currently in rough terrain. Yeah, but but you're in fairly open fields, so. You're choice, so. Now I can attack? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I want to show you something new. Yeah, which is that. Now, that is a wonder. Wonders are unique buildings that, re that require more time but are with you for the entire game in that specific city. Once someone has a wonder, with the exclusion of a few, no one else can build that wonder. It is very, very, very valuable to get those when you can. So I should get a library. Okay, also, I need to show you another thing. Managing citizens. Click on Rome and open up the citizen management tab. And go into a production focus. Production focus. Um, production focus. The one with the hammer. Right. So, see how you people have moved to accommodate your need of production. Like they move from there to there. Also, you can lock certain places for your people to be if you really need like them to work something like a natural wonder. Which unfortunately you don't have one, so I can't show you. Once again, next time I'll actually have something set up. So, is there anything I should be doing now, like setting up a city there, or mining, or... Um, you have the most happiness, which is good job on you. The meat Don't shall inherit why. the earth. Okay, and also, you would probably want to move back to the city of Rome or continue exploring. Your call. Your unit is injured, and you can heal wherever, but you heal more in your city boundaries, and even more on top of your city. Yeah, but you haven't met any other major civilizations. What are they? What are they? Uh, that's a minor civ. I can still attack them. Yeah, but you don't have nearly the units. The point, uh, the point is diplomacy in this game. It's a lot more diplomatically focused. Oh, and Rome can bombard an enemy, so click on that bombarding icon, the target. And click on that dude. And he takes some damage. Okay. By the time my warriors get there. Uh -huh. And then your warrior will move up. And he still has more orders, so you can move him into the city. Or onto the river, or whatever. And next turn. I tend to not set my people to move automatically, because I find it more fun to do it the other way. My brain's left. Yep. They straight up ran away. Good. Let's chase him down. You need to heal first. 
You can still beat them, but if any buddies of theirs Fortify come up. Unit um, uh, return to the capital. So right click on the capital. It, no. It'll return the map, but right click on like the base hex of the capital. And also you can right click to move. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. And then you heal there, because you heal significantly faster there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And heal. Uh, press the fortify until heal button, you had it right. And then ma adopt a policy. Oh, this one, right? Yeah. Oh. And then you can go up discipline, or you can adopt a second tree if you really, really want to. Well, um, tradition, adopt, liberty. Liberty is uh, really useful for rapid expansion. I should have pointed you in the direction of taking that first. Adopt but... liberty. Okay. Close. And then next turn. Yeah, you'll he's somewhere his encampment somewhere south to southeast, so you can look there. Yeah, Hector. Brown is working, which doesn't show any iron. Dang, that's bad luck. Anyway, go ahead and look, and I'm gonna let you autopilot for the last four minutes. I'm gonna go. So. So far, what do you think of the game? It's pretty fun. Just a little bit slow right now? Yeah, I feel like it'll speed up later, though. Um, I, I, I would like to actually pause for a moment and show you one of my games in a, after. Like, just for purpose of we can extend it longer than that amount, you can next turn if you want. You start to work those tiles once you um, get them. Worker. Oh, there's a Napoleon up front. Bienvenue. Je suis Napoleon. De France, you have very le militaire le plus intelligent de l'histoire mondiale. That's what sucks. So I can declare war. You could, but he is a better a military, most likely. Always assume. Oh wait, you're on the first difficulty. Nah, he couldn't probably declare war if you really want to. But you don't know where his capital what happen is. What if I traded with him? You can trade, like and something? it opens up trade. Okay, well, what do like? What does like demand do? Um, demand means that you can. Force him to do something for you, or you'll go to war with him. Okay, and disgust is a disgust is just stuff that is like, hey, we should declare war on this person. Do you want to help? Oh, is that him? Yes, that is one of his units. He has a spearman, which is an upgrade tier warrior. Actually, not really a direct upgrade. It's sort of a mounted. Oh. Um, anti-mounted unit, like it makes sense. And there is England, and of course at the two minute mark with a stretch showing up. We are pleased up, to meet you. There is England with their most likely scout. I want to be team up with them. Mm -hmm. Go on. Uh, make a joint public, a joint declaration of friendship would be your thing. I beg your pardon? And they are like, it's your first turn, so you don't, I doubt you'd get it, but you know. Okay, so now. Back. You can back out. And say goodbye for now. Um, That's a scout which can move over hills for you. It needs orders. He just finished healing. Now, are you going to head south to fight um the barbarians and hopefully find some capitals? Uh, uh, no, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. To explore. Okay. Once again, you're uh, completely your fault. Um, anyway, I like to be able to mine all this minerals. Like, well, for that you need a worker. But um, can we quickly pause and then jump over to my games to show you what's going through? And the next episode we can continue from where we are. I guess I just don't really see a reason why. I don't know. Just get, uh, to show you how hectic uh, my games well, are. I know. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's the end of the video, so... Um, see you next episode, we'll be playing more of this game. Uh...
Um, Hopefully. Yeah, well, see ya. Bye.